This is an alga called Botryococcus. The alga's cells produce oil. The oil is made by photosynthesis and secreted outside the alga body. The extracted oil is high in purity and can be used as it is as diesel fuel. Professor Makoto Watanabe of Tsukuba University is doing research on this biofuel. Professor Watanabe turned his attention to Botryococcus inhabiting ponds and lakes in Australia, Taiwan, and other places. Most algae store oil inside their cells, but Botryococcus discharge oil outside the body. Professor Watanabe's group developed a method for efficiently separating algae and discharged oil. They learned that when a chemical substance is mixed in the liquid in which Botryococcus is cultured, the alga and oil clearly separate. This transparent layer on top is liquid containing the oil. The bottom layer is Botryococcus. If this method is used, they say about 100 tons of oil can be produced annually from a one hectare pond. Algae produce oil all over their bodies and are estimated to produce up to 500 times more oil than what can be extracted from plant seeds. In June, Professor Watanabe began experiments to extract greater quantities of oil. He launched a project for growing Botryococcus outdoors instead of growing the algae inside the lab, which had been the case until now. He wants to determine the appropriate amounts of sunlight and nutrients for the algae's growth. Currently, there are said to be more than 300,000 hectares of abandoned farmland. So, if these lands can be fully utilized, I think there is a potential for Japan to become a big oil producer. As algae are expected to bear huge profits in the future, private firms are also actively engaging in related research and development. Two years ago, venture firm Neil Morgan Laboratory began a project for improving algae breeds. The firm focuses on a breed of algae called Danaliella that exists in salt lakes and other waters with a high salt concentration. They want to grow this alga in the sea for mass production of oil. They have gradually been improving the breed by exposing Daniella to more severe environments. This is salt crystal. Ordinary algae die when salt concentration is high, but the Daniella, made stronger by breeding, continues to grow even in salt. The firm hopes to grow Dunaliella in ocean waters, so future production costs will be low. We think we can replace the several hundred billion dollar petroleum business with algae. It would be great if we could produce a super alga for worldwide use, the seed of a new industry.